Now the last few months have been a little bit hard making food for you guys. Oh, it stinks so bad. But it's all for a very good reason. I'm excited to tell you that I'm gonna have a baby in February. Now, my youngest is four years old, so there's going to be a five year gap. And my family had no idea I was pregnant. So because I haven't been feeling the best, I am all about quick, easy recipes. So today I'm gonna share with you five ingredient recipes so you can get dinner onto the table. Now these are all chicken ones. They're using leftover chicken or rotisserie chicken. I love making just a ton of chicken. And then my kids can easily put these together because I'm just not cooking very much. All right guys, if you're ready, Let's get cooking. Now the first recipe I'm making is our five ingredient enchiladas. So I have about three to four cups of my leftover chicken. I have one bell pepper. It calls for red, but you know, orange is close enough, right? Then we have Mexican style cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want on here. I have 19 ounces of enchilada sauce. I like when there's a lot of enchilada sauce on my enchiladas. And then today I'm using some whole wheat tortillas. I'm first gonna start by just cutting up my pepper. Now, if you haven't seen my trick yet, growing up we used to always cut out the seeds, cut out the middle. There is an easier way and I will show you. So I just like to cut the edges off, just like that. You just try and stay away from the seeds. Yeah, it just makes it so much easier. And you're just gonna cut them up into small pieces because we're not going to bake these very long so they'll be a little crunchy. So the smaller they are, the better they will taste in your enchiladas. Once your pepper is all cut up, we're ready to put it all together. Grab your nine by 13 pan, open up your enchilada sauce. You wanna start by just pouring a little bit of enchilada sauce on the bottom of your pan, and you're just going to mix it all around. Now we're gonna take some chicken, put it in the middle of our enchilada. Ooh, too much. There we go. Then I like to add just a little bit Ooh, of enchilada sauce. There we go. A little bit of cheese. Okay, that's a lot of cheese, because I love cheese. Mm. And then just a little handful of the peppers. Now you can add other vegetables too if you want in here. We're just doing the red peppers, or orange peppers today. Then go ahead and just roll it up. Now you wanna lay this in your pan, seam side down. Then just repeat it until your pan is full. So sometimes I use eight, sometimes I can even squeeze a nine in there. Once you fit on all the enchiladas you can, go ahead and just pour the rest of the enchilada sauce on. There we go. You just wanna make sure all the tortillas are covered with sauce because we, no one likes hard, crispy tortillas. We want them soft, right? So they need to have a little bit of sauce on them. And I'm just gonna put on the rest of my cheese and then it's gonna bake for 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the cheese is really melted, everything's heated through, that's what we want. Please ignore the pajama pants. That's my new uniform when I don't feel very good, so you might see it quite often. All right, I did it for about 12 minutes. Cheese is melted, we're ready to go. Time for the taste test. Now because I'm pregnant, I don't really wanna, I kinda struggle with chicken, so. Yeah. I have Ensley here with me. This is my daughter, Ensley. We're gonna try enchilada. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All yours. <laughs> is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like it? Okay, out of stars. One to five. Five means good. What would you give it? Um, I'd give it a 4.5 out of five. 4.5, all right, four and a half, I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take your word on that because I can barely stand the smell. <laughs> a second recipe I'm making is easy chicken teriyaki bowls. Now this just takes about four ingredients and I kind of, this is kind of my cheater recipe because a few things are frozen. My kids can literally make this in a matter of minutes if I have some leftover chicken or some rotisserie chicken. When I'm not feeling good, it's hard to be on my feet very long. So I'm going to use some ready rice, which is my favorite. It just cooks for 90 seconds. I have some 
vegetables that can steam in a baggie so my kids can cook both of those. I have some rotisserie chicken all cut up, ready to go. And yes, my kids helped me cut this because I couldn't do chicken today. And then just your favorite teriyaki sauce. And that's all you have to do. So let's just put it together. Just gonna open this little guy and microwave. Then I'm just gonna steam this in the microwave too. Now, if you don't have already chicken, made, cooked, ready to go. I have an Instant Pot recipe. You can cook your chicken and rice at the same time, but again, this is my cheater meal. This is on nights when things are so busy that I just, I literally just need five minutes to put a recipe together. This is my go-to. So we have our rice, we have our chicken, we have our veggies. Ooh, it's toasty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then our teriyaki sauce. And I like to do individual bowls so everyone can have their own teriyaki sauce, just because some of my kids love it, some of them do not. All right, Ansley, taste tasting again for me. So, hey. <laughs> guys, I will feel better in a few weeks, I promise, then I'll go back to taste testing my own food. But, okay, Ansley, I got a little broccoli, chicken, rice on there. Nice. All right. Ansley just got her braces on, so it's hard for her to eat too. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't like it as much, yeah. but I still like it, so I'll give it like a three. A three? Okay, mm -hmm. she doesn't love teriyaki sauce. <laughs> I made her try it anyways, but <laughs> this is actually one of my favorites when I'm not pregnant. So, still pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for testing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this last recipe I'm making is creamy bacon chicken pockets. And Melee, my daughter, is here to help me a little bit, um, mostly deal with the chicken. So <laughs> let's jump into it. So this recipe is perfect if you have leftover chicken. I sometimes buy this chicken that you can get and steam it and shred, and it's my favorite. I just buy it. You can get it at Walmart or Kroger. Then we just need some onion and chive cream cheese. A little bit of mozzarella. Now it calls for real bacon that's crumbled, but we're gonna call this my real bacon because it's a simple step and I love how it's already cooked. And then just one thing of crescents. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is microwave our cream cheese and I'm literally just gonna take off the foil and microwave it in this package. All right, now we're ready to mix everything together. So we're gonna take our chicken, I'm gonna give it to you. And just go ahead and dump it in. Good job, Maylee. Perfect. Then we have our cream cheese. I microwaved it for about 30 seconds, just so it's a little bit softer. It will make it a lot easier to stir, huh? While she's mixing all that, I'm gonna add about a half cup or so of bacon bits. You can add more if you want. The last thing we're gonna add is about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, and I'm just gonna eyeball this, because, yeah, sometimes it's okay to do a little more than half a cup, because everyone loves cheese. All right, now that we're all mixed together, it's time to put together the pockets. <laughs> now we're just gonna open up our crescents. Scariest part. Oh, it didn't come. And now we gotta crunch it. Ha. All right, so now we're gonna take this little dude, we're gonna roll it out. Now it is in triangles right now, but we don't want triangles. We're gonna make little squares. So we're actually going to cut it ourselves, kind of fix those little lines. So we're gonna smush them together. So we need to make 16 squares out of here. So I cut it in fourths. Then we're just gonna cut those into fourths too, so. Okay, so you're gonna take one square, you're gonna spread it out just a little bit because we need it bigger than this little tiny square. So we're gonna stretch it and then maybe, do you wanna put about two tablespoons or so right in the middle, okay? Good work. <laughs> then we're just going to close it up. I just like to pinch all four, <laughs> pull up all four corners and then just pinch it at the top. <laughs> Looks good. Okay. So we finished up these little guys. Mm -hmm. Now, if I would do it again, I'd actually probably leave them in triangles. It would make <laughs> our lives a little bit easier, huh? We also had about, we only used about half of this, so thankfully, I have some more crescents, so we're going to make a little bit more. So <laughs> with this recipe, make sure you get two of these. All right, now it's time to bake these. We're gonna bake them at about 375 degrees for? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, they went about 10 minutes. They look amazing. All right, we've got two taste testers now. You wanna say your name? Maylee. Maylee, Maylee has come back to taste it now that she helped it. And what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Okay, so they're a little hot, but here's your little thing. Ready to try it? Let's do a little nibble, tell me what you think. 
Now we're gonna rate it out of five. Can the toast be hot? What do you think? One, two, three, four, or five. Five means it's amazing. It's kind of yucky. It's kind of yucky. <laughs> <laughs> so will you give it like a two? All right, two for you, how about you? I'll get a, get, it's not the best, so i just like give it a four. A four, we got the pickiest ones here, but I used to love this, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> Actually, I would oh. like it. It's five. A five. Okay, winning. Five <laughs> and a four. All right, guys, if you like this recipe and you want more three ingredient or five ingredient recipes, I got some good ones for you. Just right up there. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.